Hello everyone, my name is Jaime Solano, application engineer with Seratech, and today I'll be showing you guys some basic functions of Active Workspace and how it is compared to a rich client user interface that we're all accustomed to. So to access the um, Active Workspace interface, you will have to open a web browser. In my case, I'm going to use Google Chrome. It is recommended that you use either Chrome or Firefox, but uh, because Inner Explorers does limit some of the functions that appear on, on the screen. In my case, I'm going to use uh, ASMIT, so put in my username and password. If you see the background is a little bit different than yours, it's going to depend on what version you actually have installed and what was configured on your environment. Once you have logged in, this uh, the initial display is actually your home location that includes all the tiles. Um, these here in front of you are called tiles, similar to like your computer's desktop, they have shortcuts. This is kind of like the shortcuts that you just call tiles. On the left hand side, you have more of the quick links that you can click on. Here you have home, you have folders similar to this tile here, you have inbox which is where you'll see if you have any workflows that you need to approve or assign to or any anything that you need to actually work on to send it to the next person or any tasks that you have done. This is similar to this inbox that you see here. Another thing that you can do from here, if you do any right clicks on these, uh, some of them will allow you to unpin. So that means disappear from the shortcut, not necessarily delete them, but just take them off from the tiles locations. Um, you can also add any of the items. For example, I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to demo and I'm going to go to manage. And if I want to pin this one, for example, this pin demo folder into home, I can just pin here to home. Now, when I click on home or when I first come in here, if I go all the way to the bottom, now you can see my folder pinned here. Again, you can do a right click, you can change the size of the folder or you can unpin that folder. So that's another way that you can access any of your things right away. If you want to pin anything, just creating like a shortcut. So you'll be creating a tile. The next thing I'm going to show you is that once you log in, either you see this here uh, or maybe you don't see it at all. When you click on this person on the bottom left, number one, you can see what is your username that you're in or projects if you have any. There's a drop down menu here if you're assigned to any projects. There's a groups similar to the projects. There's roles similar to the same way they used to do in the rich client. When you go in the rich client, for example, you're accustomed to go to the top and click on, on your user here and now your user settings will appear. Now you have your drop down menus where you can choose what group and role you want to be in. Not only that, you can also change your password here as well. And I'll show you an active workspace. It's very similar and you have the same functionalities. So what I like to do in my end is I like to have the little bar at the bottom. So I would click here. Now I have the little bar at the bottom and I can always change groups and roles depending on what I'm working on right away. Any projects, the same thing. This is just a little a quick way of having this here. Another thing that you can do is when you click on the little bottom left little character here, you can ping this to the left hand side if you feel more comfortable to have this always here appearing and you can always leave it there. I don't, I, I prefer again the bottom part, but okay. So I'm going to unclick here. If I go and I click on my name, just like I would in the bridge client, you can edit your profile. You can add a picture. But as same as before, you can also change your password. So if you go to manage and change passwords, here's going to ask you for the same information, your current, your new password to confirm. So in here, very similar to like the rich client, you have access to your profile. You can make modifications. If you say edit and start editing, then it's going to allow you to do drop down menus and same thing as in the other location in the other rich client application. If I do edit and say cancel, if I did change something and I want to save it, then I'll say save edits. The next thing I want to show you guys, if I go home and I go to my folders, this my folders is similar to your home, right? In the rich client. And you'll see all the folders that are part of your home folder in the team center rich client. In my case, it's just called folders. I'll see all of my new stuff, my mailbox. And if I go into demo, here it says to navigate. So once I go to demo, 
I can always <clears throat> open any of these parts and look at them close uh, with more details, just like I would be doing in my summary page. So for example, this fear test A00094, this is revision A. If I click up here, just, just hover, it says open. So now that I click open, now I can see everything that is inside my revision A00094. So here's some of the properties that some of you guys would see in the summary page. Here's a preview. Preview is a very good tool that you can use. Not only is it gonna let you preview, but it's also gonna, can allow you to make markups depending on the configuration that you have. Some out of the box installations do not allow you to do markups, but some will. Again, also depends on the licenses that you currently have. So for example, if there's any markups here, I can just click show markups. If there's anything here, for example, this says approve, it will show what mark, who did it. Again, if I just hover around it, it's gonna tell me for a quick second. So Alex Smith did it on February 3rd, All right? So the same user that I'm using right now. If I actually wanna create any markups, I can click on markup panel. And now I can either, for example, delete here and say delete. Maybe I wanna put a stamp that says draft because for now it's just gonna be draft. So I panel stamp, uh, stamp panel, click on draft. So we'll click, click in here and now it appears there. If I close here, for example, maybe I wanna do a, a highlight markup, say management, I wanna highlight it. Not only is it gonna highlight it, it's gonna put a date to it and I can put a comment, say review, make it public, say create. <laughs> and now if I wanna look at it, it says review at the bottom, that's my comment. Not only is this helpful in PDS, but there's other, place, other things that you can do in here. The next thing that I wanna show you is the next preview. It's just kind of like a preview of the picture of the item that I'm looking at or the model that I'll be looking at. Now, if I drop down a little bit more, if you have any other more, if it belongs to any projects, it will appear here. If you have any licenses that have been used for this item, also here, but any other, you can populate this with more properties as you could customize your own team center. The next thing that I wanna show you is for example, 3D version. If I go to 3D and I have a JT file, my visualization components are running in my corporate server or wherever those visualization components are. I can actually view this without opening it in NX. So here I'm just rotating the parts as you can see, it functions just the same. Let's say I want to do some measurements, right? So if I go to viewer options, my right hand side, I can pick what the units that I want to use or anything else that I want to use in here. But if I go to measurements here, and I select the surface, for example, leave only surfaces um, selected, I can pick this surface rotate it and this surface and it's going to tell me your distance is 2.3622 inches so now let's say i want to confirm right i want to confirm that that is correct i can also go to edges turn off surfaces now i can pick this edge pick this edge and now as you can see it's going to say okay from that edge to that edge that is my distance okay, is these are some quick measurements that you can do you can also create cross-sectionals here, for example, and you can save them. Uh, in this case, I created this one. If I zoom out, I can move in my cross-sectional. You can see where the measurements have been taken off as well. But here you can either reduce it or increase this, the, the cross-sectional that you're looking at. After you're done, you can, uh, you, it, it's going to be saved automatically, but you can always delete it if you want to, uh, anything like that. Again, this is just a quick that you can use to view any parts, anything like that, that you want to make sure that it's okay. Here's your sections. If you created multiple ones, you can use them here. You can also delete them. In attachments, it's the same thing as you, you would see on your rich client. Here you can see that there's a direct model, there's a UG master, there's a Word document in revision A, and there's a PDF. Again, the PDF, we can review it here. The Word, you'll have to open it if you have Word um, in, in installed on your computer. And these are this is the NX, and this is the direct model that you would see through, NX, uh, through the 3D version. 
if they have been in any workflows before, if this is already part of a workflow or anything like that, you can check. You can also check what parts is on right now. So right now is selecting sign off team by A. Smith, for example, but this is only for, for purposes of, of the demo. You can also check where it's used, similar to the rich client. Currently, this is not being used anywhere. If it belongs to any change management parts, there's classification as well. Any relations. You can see what parts are part of this one. You can open this up one more level to see that this is part of the 0094 item. And the reviews A, if I create another one, then this one will then have two of these. <clears throat> so if I go home, and I'll just show you guys that, how you can actually open this in um, in NX. If I go home, just like you would in Rich Client, you click on home and you say open NX. NX, you can be launched from the active workspace interface, just like you would in Rich Client. So open NX here, it will download this patch, path. In the background, what's doing an X is logging you into the Team Center. So once you launch an X from here, you can actually use it to store anything in Team Center right away. Once an X is open, you can see what you have here in like recently used or histories. Here is the active workspace, same interface that I showed you before. And here's your Team Center Rich Client interface. So home, double click, you'll see the folder structure, the same as the Rich Client. You can actually use this after works with interface to do it, it, absolutely everything that you can do in your in your uh, web browser. So you don't always have to open an X, but if you don't open an X this way, you will have to open it through a batch file that has to be created on your desktop that's going to call all your team center attributes and environments and set them up that you can actually log in with the username and password, and then automatically your team center will be also associated with the NX session that you have opened. Again, your your sessions would be for Team Center. As you know, it, the licenses would be attached to your username. These are not floating licenses. This is username uh, license, pretty much. So NX, you can open it anywhere. You can open as long as you have floating licenses and they're associated with a computer, uh, with the network. If you have you don't have floating licenses for an X, then you know uh, you'll have to open it somewhere that you have a license on the computer that's attached to that specific computer. So one thing I'm going to show you, for example, I just open an X. It does not have anything currently, but I can open from here the part that I was showing you guys. This is the interface from an X. Open demo. I can open an X from here directly. I'm going to bring this. <clears throat> smaller in my case. So you can see, you can start creating anything that means that it has been checked out. There is no lock here. Now uh, you can create any any changes that you, that you feel like creating here. Um, here's your model, here's everything else. I'm gonna close here. But you can use this active workspace as well. If you go home, click on folders, select demo folder in my case, and I open this one. I can use this interface to actually send it to a workflow. Submit to workflow. I'm gonna start it here and then I'm gonna jump into the to the other the the Chrome. So I look at all, I go and I'm gonna do the development release workflow. I'm gonna say submit. And now it has been submitted. As you can see on the left hand side, you see inbox, you have a number one. If I go here as well, if I go home, or if I refresh this, now you see my inbox says number one, here it says number one. You can access my inbox, it says prepare review package. Open that one. I can see all my targets here. I can open them as well. If I want to download them, I'll open them. Or if I want to view them, I can view them from um, here as well. I just have to double click and go to a specific one. So proceed to check, check a review. I can go ahead and proceed to the next step here. You can read more about the actions and what you need to do. So it's verifying. This is the step for the users to verify that everything's okay. Again, I can go to attachments, see everything that's been attached, all my targets. Can look at the workflow, for example. 
make sure where I am, see what I need to do. Any audit logs and the assignments. So in my overview, I'm going to go ahead and press proceed to check or review. Now it's going to go to the next step, which is select the sign off team. I'm going to open that one as well. Now, when I look on my left hand side, it says it's requiring one person to add. So I'm going to click on this and then the plus sign. Now here I have B day, for example, I can say add. Again, this nose is a checker. So it's picking somebody that's part of my organization. It's actually a checker. Say add. Now he's been part of here. I can say complete. In this case, it's out of my inbox. I'm going to open one for the other username. <clears throat> now he's going to have a new task here to perform. So to perform sign off, open it. Here are all my targets. Again, you can preview things here. You can show markups to see what has been what has been done here in this case i can say approve now it's out of my inbox if i go back to the other if i go home go to folders and now if i go to demo now you can see this one has the checker flag that's been, that has been approved in my development workflow so if i open here you not only that but you can see the checker flag up here as well and you see the status release Similar as you would in the rich client. Again, if I open my rich client and I say view and I refresh the window, if I go to demo and I open this one, my items that have been released is there. The one that we did, I believe, was 094. Let me just double check. Correct. So, as you can see, you can do everything you want to um, that you were accustomed to do in the rich client in the other location there's a lot more features a lot more things that you can do but this is just a simple basic um, demonstration of active workspace and how it's compared to the rich client thank you